Hey guys, welcome to Melbourne. I am here with Laura and Alia. Hi. Thank you for joining me. Oh, thank you for having You're me. Very <laughs> kind. You've joining me this morning. I've asked Laura and Alia to show us around Melbourne. I'm just finding my bearings. You know your way around the city better than me and oh. you've picked uh, Maker as our first coffee stop. Yeah. Coffee's amazing. Oh, yeah. thank <laughs> So no pressure, but you did give me a big list of coffee shops that we could yes, go to. So yes, from really here, hard. we'll check out at least one more coffee shop. Yeah. But um, tell us a little bit about yourself. I think like you've lived in Sydney, oh, sorry, you lived in Melbourne for how long now? Uh, I lived in Melbourne for five years. Five years. Yes. And we first came along, came across you when you were shooting YouTube content. Yeah. And you still are, you still got a YouTube channel. Um, yes, I am. I'm doing still, I'm still doing YouTube, but slightly going into the lifestyle now, yeah. not so much about coffee. I still post like coffee content um, when I'm at home, I yeah. still make coffee and stuff, or when I'm going out in the city and I'm going to coffee shops. Sure. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it's more about life in Melbourne in general. Cool. Yep. <laughs> cool. Uh, which coffee is a big part of, really? Yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> and the particular video that we came across was your in your espresso bar. So you might have seen Laura shooting for how long was that video? It goes for like an hour. It's just uh, yeah. a vlog style video. You're just making coffee yeah, usually <coughs> and it's gone viral. Minutes. Like it's gone wild. Yeah, and it did yeah. inspire us to do some videos, yeah. similar content. Um, we just found that people love watching yes. us make coffee. Yes, it's, it's actually really interesting that people actually take a huge interest in what we do as a barista behind yeah. the bar yeah. because usually people when we when we we're working as a barista we don't it seems like people don't really care about what we do but sure. when we post it on YouTube and then it start to blow up yeah. it's, it's really fascinating. Yeah it's true and I think yeah. people are just mesmerized by it the comments yeah comments are just because you forget that, that a lot of people aren't behind the machine they don't really understand that world yeah. and they it's such a unique thing for so many people yeah. it takes a lot it takes skills yeah. so <laughs> a last last check your video was at 2.5 million views or something uh, wild i stopped and counting just, but <laughs> yeah it but was yeah, um, it was, it that was cool it was yeah, really it was cool, cool to watch and yeah. and we're always inspired by other youtubers and and people doing that kind of content yeah um what have you found i think just around melbourne just culturally over the years what do you think is that's driving melbourne to be such a like a coffee central place coffee central place um i think the people in it yeah. that i think they i don't know because when i first moved to melbourne i honestly i didn't drink coffee yep. at all even though I already started uh, working as a barista, yep. I didn't really drink coffee, but I had to because I had to taste every morning. Sure. And then I worked my way up to it, and then everyone else around me also drinking coffee. And then it's just, yeah, and it, I, I probably just got dragged into it, and then I become snobby and everything now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think yeah. a, a lot of the part is the people and um, how they really love their coffee in here. And yeah. So this is our first coffee stop, which is Maker in the CBD of Melbourne. Um, what other coffee shops around Melbourne would you recommend for people that are in the in the city or around around Melbourne in general? Top spots. Top spots. Tough. It's really tough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lot. Every time someone asks me, um, because like they're like, can you recommend me five? I'm like, it's so hard to just pick five because um, I would always categorize coffee shops um, in different category sure. like do you want do you want the best filter do you want like the best yeah. milk base do you want just the vibe or which like is, for working which is amazing like, that you yeah. to have that and i think that's a really underappreciated part of coffee and being able to have the diversity is amazing because yeah, not everyone true. should have to do everything yeah. really well some places can do such you know best filters yeah so, that's true um okay what's your go-to filter is there somewhere that you know filter coffee. Great filter coffee actually maker is one of my go-to for nice. yeah. for filter coffee and yeah usually i would sit by the bar and like just chat with the yeah. with the barista as they pour my coffee and then there's another one in still in the cbd it's called oko cafe he um danny danny is a coffee professional as well yeah. and um yeah i really admire what he does and he usually would 
for me some some crazy invention or he has a lot of friends in the coffee industry as well that would give him like coffee beans from all around the world yeah. so sometimes he would pour me that and then there's also coffee cartel like just right down the street yeah. here they also have a really good filter coffee yes. cool. all right i reckon we should go for a walk Ooh. find our next coffee yeah and we'll see where right. we land <laughs> exciting <laughs> Where, where are we headed next? Uh, We're looking for good coffee, whether it's filter or milk. Milk? Oh. Wait, 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 can I think? <laughs> uh, for filter, I love. I kind of want to check out Cartel. Yeah. It's just, it's just down the road. I haven't been there in a bit, but I remember their coffee is really good when I went oh. on there. So I want to oh. show you. Go for a walk. There's a fun fact here. There's a countdown here. What is that? You say it's a countdown to the end of the world. Ah. Countdown. Countdown to the end of the world. I need another. It's a bit of a thing. This is another. Yeah, this is the 17th. This is the 17th. All the shops are so nice. It's, it's, I really appreciate how much effort and time was put into the fit outs on them. Mm. Some of them are so beautiful. It's very and then, But then they're also in like these industrial streets. They've got these beautiful little places. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's the beautiful thing about them. There's loving. definitely a level of equipment. You know, investment in good equipment mm, in all the cafes. True. It's kind of love as up goes and there's there's just good gear everywhere in, yeah. in the good spots. Like, yeah, that's one of the things. Like, usually you don't think about it, but at the start, oh, sorry, the coffee cartel is here. Oh, cool. Yeah. Usually you don't think about it, and then sometimes you go, when you just go into like a new coffee shop, and then you, the first thing is you look at the machine that they use. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a snob for that. I'll just walk in and walk <laughs> just be like, have you, ever, uh, have you ever done that? Like you, you see a coffee shop and then the machine's not up to your standard. Definitely. And you're like, oh, oh, it's a big part of the process. We know that. It's it's a big part of. I mean, I think the the right barista can make the most of the tools that they've got, but there's a there is definitely a, a level of you know, coffee making that comes from the machine having having the control. So coffee. beautiful. <laughs> Very cool. Um, so, so what would you recommend here? Here, the, they do something special where they make their um, where they make their filter coffee in a wine cup, in a wine glass. Okay. So we could try that, but they have an extensive options for coffee here, which we can look at. Too. All right. So, yeah. Let's grab a seat and <laughs> try yeah. a few coffees. and the flavor profile that they told me it delivers in the coffee. Okay, great. That's what I remember. So that's good. Hi. So here we are in a nice <laughs> chilly alleyway, classic Melbourne. Yes. Um, we're at Cartel Roses. Cartel Roses. Um, now, we came here because we did, you mentioned that there was like a big extensive menu and mm. now we're coming here, we've actually discovered that they've had to limit their menu a little bit. Yes, it, it, was, it was a bit devastating because I used to go here a lot before COVID. Yeah. And then um, I remember they have 
this thick of a, of a, of a menu sure. um, where they have a lot of options for coffees, for wine and food as well. Yeah. And what what's the most the most interesting about Cartel Coffee is the extensive options of their filter coffee. And they even do it in a wine glass, which is kind of a bit of a show. And um, But after COVID, I stopped going here. And then there's a lot of coffee shop going around, which I wanted to try. Sure. So I haven't tried, I haven't gone back since. And But I remember one of my first best coffee is actually in here, okay. the espresso base. Because at the time, the barista was saying, oh, we have two types of espresso. And one is taste, it's going to taste like coffee, uh, like chocolate, like chocolatey. And I'm like, what do you mean, right? Sure. And then when I taste it, I'm like, wow, it actually delivers. So it's like one of my first experience right. with good coffee in here. Hopefully they still have that, but yep. yeah. Yeah, well, Australian milk coffee. Yeah, <coughs> I think it's it. definitely uh, something that happened over COVID, made mm. it really hard for roasters and just coffee shops to maintain like the amount of things on the menu, different coffees and offering, like it's such a, you've got to have the people to have yeah. the coffee yeah. and to roast it and to age it. And if you're not moving it, it's really hard to maintain all those things. Yeah. We've seen that across COVID, yeah. unfortunately had that impact. Yeah. Um, as long as you can maintain at least a good milk coffee, um, that's that's the big thing. But, yes. and especially it's competitive. Mm, like, that's true. Um, we're always trying to, we're on the coast, we're New South Wales and stuff, mm. we're trying to raise the profile of coffee and get people to do more batch brews and, and uh, just more filter coffee, mm. but there's less of a market for it. Mm. So, there, you know, regionally we have that challenge that there's less people drinking filter, and that's why you can't do so much of it. The city you've got plenty of filter, but lots of people, and, and lots of competition. So, yeah. it's it's the challenge everywhere, all over Australia. I think just in trying to have something unique and special. So, let's try some milk coffee. Let's do and, um, it. Yes. See if we can get that chocolatey yes. flavours. Let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, I can do a milk coffee. I'm just going to do a piccolo if I can. Yeah. Please. Um, which, so do you still have the two types of espresso? Well, yeah. What are the types of the espresso? Ooh, okay. Cool. These are the espresso. Uh, Ayel Fusala, that's a yoga chef, Ethiopian. And this one is Mexico. Uh, Mexico. Let's see. I'm gonna Sweet. I'm gonna try it on this yoga chef. That's particularly because it's my favourite coffee, but we've had a similar coffee before at our roastery and I wanted to it's always cool to see how other people treat it. Um, I'll just do a piccolo on that one, that'd be great. And I'll get uh, an oat magic with this one. Oat magic? So you guys do magic? So Melbourne of you. <laughs> so, you've never been so Melbourne. All right, look at one. Uh, can you explain what a magic is to everyone else then? A magic is... Um, <laughs> a magic is... If, if I were to explain it to people, I would just say it's less milk, stronger coffee, very yummy. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's it's basically it's a double espresso shot with uh, two thirds of milk with a latte foam consistency. Cool. Which is yeah. yeah it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then some people in the comments like, don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Some people apparently they they despise double double espresso. I don't oh, know yeah. why, but I love it. It's it's it's, it's like I rarely drink a single shot. I'll always drink doubles, unless I'm tasting coffee, because I like, I think it's kind of, you, you're missing a, lo a lot of the, the balance that you get out of a single shot, but that's the best bit. That's like, true. If that's what it's you want, best, you want yeah. that like yeah. sweetness, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm all for it. So I think we've, I've been drinking magics my whole life without realizing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like latte, sweet, double ribs. Yeah. So, double. that's cool. Double ribs, the way It's just a Melbourne thing. It's amazing. No, actually, because I just moved back from um, from Gold Coast, and years like a couple of years ago, people outside like in outside Melbourne, when I tried to order Magic, they would like give me a side aisle of it. Yeah. But now they actually have Magic in the in the menu, which okay, I'm cool. like, Ooh, appreciate. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, exciting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we right. got your Magic. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay. Beautiful. Now, got your piccolo. I picked the Ale Velata, and this is actually a natural coffee, which is not that common. Definitely, like on the coast, we don't tend to put natural coffees in our milk oh. coffees. Oh, interesting. Um, but that's just because most, like, I think in Melbourne there's a real lean towards um, more of the fruitier, florally flavours, and, and I think as you get further up the coast, especially Sydney and stuff, mm -hmm. tend to like rich coffee, like, sorry, rich chocolatey, dark, dark, darker coffee. coffees. Yeah. So that's, that's definitely interesting. Um, and you've got the Mexican. I've got the, yeah, the yeah. Mexican. I love yoga chefs. They're usually delicious. Let's try it. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. One of the most obvious characteristics of yoga chef is blueberries. Mm -hmm. That is spot on. Spot on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad. So you're right. it, yeah. It, this is also spot on, and I'm glad that they still have it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is real good. Well, you've nailed it with the coffee today. Yes, Thank you. yes. And oh, my pleasure. Plenty of other places that we're going to probably explore in our time here in Melbourne. Yes. But appreciate your time. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm really glad I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> and um, definitely go and check out Laura's channels. We'll put them in the description. Thank um, you. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank it's you. Great to, you too, of course. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Um, being a part of the coffee culture of Australian coffee. So it's been a pleasure. And, um, yeah, check out Laura's channels and if you like this video, mm -hmm. hit the like button, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, hit the bell icon and we will see you next time. Thank you everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>